This is Dr. Sharon Camp. I'm president and CEO of the Guttmacher Institute. Um, we are based in New York and we do policy research on a range of sexual and reproductive health issues. Um, we came to Norway. Um, we're going to be going on to other Scandinavian countries, uh, mainly to share some new findings on unsafe abortion in developing countries. And we've just done a seminar for our colleagues at NORAD and um, a number of Norwegian NGOs. And, and what are your expectations when it comes to the new Obama administration in supporting, for example, the um, work on mat uh, maternity and, and child health? We are absolutely giddy <laughs> over the results of our election. Um, not only do we have a friend of reproductive health and rights in the White House now, we have much stronger voting majorities in the Senate and the House of Representatives. So um, we're pretty confident that the U.S. will sort of return to the leadership of international health and, and sexual rights issues. Um, we would expect the U.S. to rejoin the U United Nations Population Fund, uh, to rescind the global gag rule, which has kept us from supporting the International Planned Parenthood Federation and other worthy organizations working in this field. The problem, of course, is that um, you know we're entangled in a number of foreign wars. Um, other things are heating up around the world that are going to distract the new administration, uh, including our new Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton. Um, so whether or not there will be money uh, or uh, attention for these issues early on in the administration is still to be determined. Um, but at least um, the things that can be done quickly and uh, without new legislation, I think will happen. Uh, it's just that there is little, little money uh, or time at this point to do some of the proactive things that we would want to see the new administration do. But for the 15-year anniversary of the uh, International Population Development Conference uh, and the 10-year anniversary of the Millennium Development Goals, I think we'll see a U.S. that is at least verbally uh, very supportive of sexual and reproductive health and rights. So the Norwegian Prime Minister, in his efforts for the um, MDG 4 and 5, can find an alliance partner in the President Obama? Oh, yes. I think that both President Obama and Secretary of State Clinton will be very supportive of, of the Norwegian initiative. And, and how will, it, for example, a country like um, Uganda notice a change of administration when it comes to reproductive rights? Well, I hope they'll be able to see condoms come into the country again, for one. Uh, as you know, the administration has put a lot of emphasis, the Bush administration, on abstinence uh, and monogamy as a solution uh, to the HIV-AIDS uh, crisis. Uh, I think that the Obama administration will be, will put much more emphasis on real prevention, uh, evidence-based uh, prevention efforts. Uh, so the kind of ideologically driven policies that have dominated this part of our uh, development assistance, I think are something of the past. So it will take time. Uh, to fix everything that's gone wrong over the last eight years, but I, uh, I'm confident that in time we will put our foreign policy back on track.